Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Subnautica tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on getting the coffee vending machine blueprint and building one so I haven't got to keep swimming around getting these bladder fish all the time. Right now just to show you exactly where it is from my life pod it's 390 meters and you'll see in relation to the Aurora it's near the back end of it. So if I swim down here, you can see I've placed the beacon so I can also look when I get back to my uh, base. So let's do the coffee vending machine. Oh, let's do a self scan. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Right, and let's have a look at what other blueprints are here. So there's a grav trap. New and let's see what else, because there's a few items here. Oh, sea glide fragment. And what else? There's also a couple of the sulfur pods and of course just be wary of, wary of them because they'll obviously come out and blow you up. Oh, I need the torch now, it's getting dark. And I think there's some other stuff here. Oh, here we go, what's this? Oh, grab truck got that already. I don't want to pick up no more scrap at the moment. Oh, here we go, look. Oh, it's not a bit of the grab trap. May as well get it. Fill my pocket up. 30 seconds. Right, okay, better go up. Oh, there's a cabinet there, I think. So if I go now into the builder, you'll see now I've got the coffee vending machine and it's only two titanium. So that is fantastic. Oh yeah, I better go back and eat. And let's build ourselves a coffee vending machine. It's the so-called coffee vending machine because now I will be able to drink as much as I want. If you're wondering why I got all them bladder fish, knowing that I was getting the coffee machine, well, once I get enough salt, I can salt them up as food or just keep them as spare drinks, bottles which I might actually do for the long trips. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, okay, let's just have a look. Oh, I've got plenty of titanium on me. Um, so, let's build some coffee machines here. So, we can put them, I think, to... That's so cool. You can see I've been building a little onto my base storage wise. I've still only got the one multi one purpose well, I've still only got the one multi purpose room. Four of them should be enough, I think. Right now, if I click on them all, you're going to see.
Now it doesn't matter if you're in your base or out your base, as long as you stay near, you'll get your coffee. See, look. Right, now let's have a look. So there's my life pod. There's the coffee vending. So from here, where my life pod is in relation to the Aurora, is about 380 meters away. Now, how about I eat something before I start dying? Um, so you can see I've been doing, putting down lots of these containers. I always keep the titanium quartz near my fabricator because I'll be using it a lot. Right, let's cook up that fish, some food. Drink some coffee. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, I better have another one. And I generally just fill it up with peepers because they give me the most food, so I like to fill it up with the best fish. Why not? Oh, one more, I think, yeah. Let's do some more coffee. And eat another fish. Another peeper. Let's eat this boomerang. Strange, it didn't give me all the coffee last time. Um, it only gave me half the amount when I was outside. Oh well. Look at that now. Having four of them, that's it. I don't really need bladder fish anymore. Let's do this titanium. I put two solar panels on the roof now, and that gives me plenty of power. Um, let's have a look, what can we do? Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, beacon, I might need another beacon, so let's do one of them. <clears throat> so let's see, now that I've got the vending machine, now I should start to, I need the bioreactor. Next for power uh, because I want to start growing my own food as well so let's do that um, let's do another first let's do a multi another multi-purpose room I've got enough titanium it's a nuisance that it's getting dark let's see where we can fit in another multi-purpose room Oh, one will fit there just nicely, nice and snug. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I've done bulkheads on each of my uh, passages, so there's bulkhead in each each one to strengthen it up. Right, now in here, with this extra space, I think that's where I'll put my... I'm not sure whether to put it there or here actually. Handy for using the fabricator to keep the power charged up. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. For now, let's see if I can find some bioreactor fragments. Oh, let's get rid of this stuff first. So you can see in this first room is where I'm going to put lots of... i put a couple of windows in so I can see when it's dark, day and night. Uh, the vending machines here, really the bioreactor ought to go in here. So it's handy there, the fabricator, like I say. You'll see why. And then I'm going to put some food grow beds down. Grow food. Uh, right, I need to get rid of this sulphur. I need to do another locker really for it. 
I need to make many more lockers in fact. Let's keep a first aid kit on me. Let's destroy the sulfur in there for now. Titanium can go back. And we got one quartz. Right, let's grab some more coffee. And then I'm going to head in, go look for a bioreactor. Yeah, look at that. So I'm not going to be getting thirsty anymore. I love my coffee. All right, it's daytime. Let's see if we can find ourselves some bioreactor. Now, right, I'm going to head this way. North, I think it's north. I've got to get a compass so I can know for sure. I'm going to head north for about 500 metres. So let's use my sea glide. Once I get the sea moth, then I will start doing the um, missions, the uh, well, the messages from the different escape life pods that have crashed. Oh, here's a wreck. Let's go check it out. Oh, lo and behold. Bio reactor. Oh, that flipping fish is shooting at me. How much health? Right, sucker. Looking shots at me. It's not nice. Oh, I can't kill it. I was hoping I could, but I can't. But what did it give me? So striking, it gives you tiger plant seed. Yeah, I don't think I want to grow them somehow. That's what I wanted, the bioreactor. Don't think there's anything else. I'll have to come back when I'm a bit tougher. And I've got a bit more health. What's this? Oh, scanner room fragments. Oh, now I'd better get up. So that bio reactor, like I say, nearly 500 meters from the life pod. Right, so that will give us power. So let's head back to my base and see if I can build one. All the timer goes. See if I've got the materials to build one. I hope I have. Yeah, so I put down two solar panels for now. Could put a load more down. Right now, so this bioreactor. Let's have a look. There's a scanner room. I think it's there. So I need a wire, free titanium lubricant and a wiring kit. Let's do the wiring kit first. What will I need for the wiring kit? Just two silver. Right, cool. Grab the two silver. Don't know what I'm going to do with them uh, for now. Let's just throw them in. 
in here. This is the unsorted stuff. Right, let's do the wiring kit. Right, I needed titanium. And, our oh, lubricant, that was it. I think I've got lubricant that I've made already in silicon rubber, I think I put it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's do the bioreactor. So, I'm going to pull it right near my entrance because um, I'm going to feed it with the plants I grow. They, it goes through them quickly though. The best fuel you can use really is the, the corals, but uh, you'll see what I'm going to do. I've got a plan. A reliable power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Yep. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. Right, so there's my bioreactor. Now what I want to do is I need to put some grow beds around it. Indoor grow beds. So I need 16 titanium because I want to have four. Right, okay, so we got that. Now, what we're going to do, put down four of these grow beds. And I like to have them close to. It let me. Uh, it might be a thing where I've got to mess around jumping over them, but I'm not fussed about that. one there and a middle scroll mouse scroll wheel turns these this around placement Yeah, see, so I will have that. Oh no, I've left just enough room to walk around. Good. I don't like to keep jumping. And let's do another one. Will you let me? Yeah, you will let me. It will be nice to me. That's good. Just don't like the angle. Just won't let me put it where I want to. Oh, well, that's all right. Actually. That one I'm going to have to hop over. I think. Oh no, let me walk around it. And I'm going to do one more. Might be a little excessive, um, but better to be have too many than not enough. Right, we've got my grow beds, got my bioreactor, so now I need to go get the seeds to the plants that I want to grow. Um, not enough time to do it now, 
So what I'll do is, when not recording, the timer's about to go. Oh, there's the timer. So I'm going to go, whilst not recording, off camera to go get a load of the seeds that I need from that island where I got the multi-purpose room. I'm going to go back there, grab a load of seeds, and in the next episode, you're going to see how cool this is, the setup that I've got. Basically, once I have them seeds planted, I'll have unlimited drink and food. Um, but that's going to be in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.